Hi everyone, uh, Nick Robinson here. I'm an Employability Development Advisor with USW Careers. And I wanted to talk to you briefly today about something that lots of students and graduates are asking us about. With the pandemic, the graduate labour market is looking a little bit uncertain for the future. And many of you are concerned about missing out on work experience and having a lockdown gap in your CVs, applications and online profiles. But I wanted to reassure you that you've been developing loads of skills during the pandemic. There's still time to develop further skills and gain more experience. And USW Careers, we can help you to effectively put the skills you've gained forward to employers. Now, you might be thinking, that's great, but I haven't been developing these skills. I've been in lockdown. You absolutely have. The move to online learning has required you to adapt to a new normal. You've had to develop a flexible and open mindset. You've had to get to grips with and master new technology, such as Microsoft Teams, Blackboard Collaborate, Zoom. You've had to learn how to communicate differently, developing a range of digital communication skills, using collaboration tools, working in teams to work on assignments and projects together. You've had to be creative and innovative, finding new ways to work together. For example, maybe you've been document sharing, maybe you've been using Google Hangouts, perhaps you've been using WhatsApp or other forms of technology. Plus, many of these skills are really critical for remote working, which is going to be here to stay in some form after the pandemic. So you've already been demonstrating competencies in using these digital tools effectively. In some of these situations, you may have had to step up and step forward and maybe take a leadership role in some of these projects, assignments and activities that you've been set by your academic staff. Maybe you've taken on board a bit of a project management role to make sure that you got the work done on time. You'll have been problem solving. You'll have been planning your time, prioritising your workload effectively to hit the deadlines whilst under pressure. And you've probably been using your emotional intelligence to notice when your friends and course mates have maybe been a little bit quiet. and Maybe you thought they've been struggling and you've reached out to them to provide that support. Maybe you've been busy at home looking after younger siblings or your, your own children. Perhaps you've been having to help homeschool them. Maybe you've been honing your baking skills whilst doing a charity fundraising bake. Perhaps you've taught yourself a new language or to play an instrument. Maybe you're learning a new sport via an online course that you've signed up for. Maybe you've been planning meals and trying to feed a family on a budget. We're all using these skills all the time in our own lives. So be kind to yourself. You've been amazingly resilient. Take time to reflect on the remarkable things that you've done already, perhaps without even realising that you've been doing them. Employers recognise this and they want to know about what you've been up to. They love to see evidence of these things because they demonstrate an open growth mindset. And you're evidencing that through your commitment to continuous professional and personal development. But there's still more that you can do. Maybe reflect on the things that you can do, the things that you like to do and you enjoy doing. And then have a look at the skills that employers are looking for. Maybe explore alternative sectors and industries that you've never thought about before and think about how your skills, knowledge and experience could add value. This might uncover some further areas for development or exploration. There's loads of great free online courses and webinars on such a wide range of topics. Check out the Open University's free courses. FutureLearn, Coursera and MyMOOC are some good places to start. Try something new such as developing your digital skills further. Maybe try your hand at coding or a bit of web development. Every role needs an element of marketing skills. Maybe look at digital marketing. Have a look at data or maybe explore AI. Maybe check out an industry professional body and employer-led sessions that are being run that you could also tune into. There are loads of these sorts of opportunities advertised every week on the Careers Connect Jobs portal. There's also loads of free resources on the My Career Employability Toolkit that you can check out, including net, developing networking skills, um, maybe developing some of the six USW graduate attributes, as well as some fantastic IT and digital resources such as Office 365, digital literacy skills and free um, IT based LinkedIn learning courses around some of the accredited Microsoft pathways that are available via the university's IT pages. Check out the USW work experience pages to explore work experience options that could include maybe undertaking a virtual placement or maybe doing some voluntary work. 
There are still some physical roles out there in terms of work experience if you feel safe and, and happy to enter the community, such as supporting vulnerable groups, uh, maybe helping a neighbour, or stay indoors and maybe explore some of the online roles, perhaps providing online or telephone support. You'll find part-time jobs, placements, volunteering opportunities, as well as graduate jobs and graduate schemes on Careers Connect. And in the absence of that physical networking, uh, a good online presence and the importance of building a network becomes even more important. Build that network now ready for your future. Reach out to people and start engaging with the professional community. And don't be afraid of getting it wrong. You know, people are generally incredibly supportive. They understand you're starting out and maybe you're new to something. Now, some of these things might require you to have the confidence to step out of your comfort zone and maybe try new things. And you might not succeed first time. There's nothing wrong with failure or getting it wrong. Okay, you can learn lots from that. Take what you've learned forward, bounce back, be resilient, try again. And there's loads of support around developing resilience and techniques such as mindfulness um, available from colleagues in specialist teams within student services. Maybe think about then what you have learned and take some real confidence from how well you've done. And think about perhaps using platforms such as LinkedIn to showcase some of your lockdown skills. Post about what you've been learning, the activities you've been undertaking. Maybe uh, it's online courses or webinars that you've attended and what have you learned from them? And if you've never used LinkedIn before, consider booking into one of our LinkedIn webinars that's advertised along some of our other really useful webinar topics on Careers Connect. And then take the time to add these to your CV and then get it checked. We uh, provide an application and a CV checking service via the Ask a Question service as well as the broader one-to-one -one support and guidance appointments for students.